Okay, we left off. So this is the next episode. I think it's episode four in the um, Kill Karstag series. And my level one Breton vampire um, playing at yeah legendary level has just completed Book of Love. We just completed Book of Love. We come back to uh, come back to um, White Run. We did a few basic quests in White Run. We've now picked up the Bleak Falls Barrow, which is the main quest, which we wanted to do, do soon. Uh, and then we're going to. And we've also done a few side quests. Um, so the big thing, what I want to do next is I want to do the book. I want to do one main quest, which is Bleak Falls Barrow. But that's easy. For that, I've already picked up the things I need. I've got some of the things. I've got fire arrows, which I need. I've got a new cheapy bow. It doesn't matter. I'm the commander also, of the guard here in White. Also, I I want to do two basic things. Um, <clears throat> I want to get a flame match knock staff. And I want to get the uh, assassin's armor <coughs> because it's really good armor kit, better than this rubbish stolen and uh, looted imperial kit. So I'm going to get the I'm going to get the assassin's armor because it's assassin's armor and the staff are two kind of clever side quests. Don't require any um, don't require any combat. So let's do them. So to do the assassin's quest, we need to go off to Wild Windhelm first. We've been to Windhelm's tables. Need to get to Windhelm stables, and we're gonna go into Windhelm and do some do a little chore. We remember we assassinated, well we murdered the evil the girl of the kind who is a. I did this in the wrong order, you know. Really, we should have picked up the quest request from a kid here. And then you, when you get the quest request, you do it. And the, the, so I'm doing it back to front, but that's the way everybody does it, really. It's scary. Now, if you talk to the innkeeper or any of the guards, some of the locals, you'll be told that you find out that there's a boy here doing. A special ritual which summons the assassins. Here they are, they're talking about outside his house, listen. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, Grimba. See, <laughs> this little uh, boy is... Those are just tales. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child into the sins of the unworthy, must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child into the... You've come at last! It worked! I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came... You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you look... My mother, she... She died. The headmistress is an evil, cruel Same woman. Evil, cruel we call her Krella the Khan. So I ran away and came and home. You can kill and her. Performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Krella the Kind. As it turns out, I already killed her. Did? This is the best news I've ever gotten. I mean, I knew the Dark Brotherhood was good, just not that good. You killed the old hag before I even asked. Oh, oh, and please take this as payment. It's an old family heirloom. It's supposed to be pretty valuable. I will take it's the human heart, nice human price. flesh, and Thank human heart. Again. They're kind of rare enough. Okay, so now I've officially got the sacrament and paint. They've got the request and the payment. And what this means is now that the um, the Dark Brotherhood will be angry with me because I took a job off them. So here we go straight away we have to sleep somewhere and when we sleep somewhere they will whisk me away to be interrogated and there's a free there's a free DOS house here called um, Elder's Bunkhouse so you can just DOS out here for nothing there we go just go sleep here
And here we go. Sleep well. Astrid, where Doesn't am I? Matter. Who are you? You're Walt, half of Skyrim. Oh, but don't misunderstand. But there is a slight, a slight problem. Mm. You see, that little Eretino boy was looking for the Dark Brother. Yes. Grelod the Kind was a kill you must, you must repay. repay. Well, now, if you turn around, you see, make your choice, make your kill. Okay. Uh, am I, then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. So just kill one of these three victims. I don't want to use a good weapon here, so I'll use a longbow and an iron arrow. But no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. And this guy has got some valuable scale armor. So I'll take that. For sale. And throw it back again. Oh ho ho! The whimpering Nord, eh? <laughs> when most would speak, you listen. You think. Of course. I would like in the south when questioned. I'll see you at home. So now we go back to the base of the Dark Brotherhood and we're going to be rewarded with the Dark Brotherhood membership and free Dark Brotherhood armor, which is really good. And also much better than the shitty armor. So all I need is my whole all and I need is two. The Dark Brotherhood is see it's marked down here. Bleh, this way. There it is there. So just the friends of these. See? So I need to get the Valkyries and to get the Valkyries I need to I need to go for a stable because I haven't been there yet. So I run stables. Okay, can't travel when enemies nearby, so yeah, we'll easily come out of there if there's enemies nearby, so it's nothing is probably a about a crab or something stupid. But Okay, see, see the time command working. Yep, so now we can fast travel. And off we go to White One Stables. This is the quest that you'd nearly do first, but Book of Love doesn't require armor, so there's no need. There's our horsey. Oh, sorry. I need to travel by carriage first. Yeah. I'll pick up the horsey later. So, Falkreath, two Falkreath we go. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the... Where do you want to go? Yeah, Valkyries. Climb and back and we'll be off. Get up there. The Invincible Instantaneous Skyrim card. Skyrim Travel Wagon, I love them. Now, the, the Brotherhood is over there, but there's a little fetch quest for money here. For that year. Oh, Curry. I've been looking for you. Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the okay. orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Excuse Looks me. Like that's it. Got to go. <laughs> so that's, just, that's just a notice to say you can adopt a kid from the orphanage. I don't need that. So now that gear will appear here and ask for a message to be delivered, but he only appears at eight in the morning. So, so, so five hours. Excuse me. Pardon me. Head cold. Now that gear should appear soon. And we can get a quick quest off him. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Unless you You said something about a burial. I just finished giving my old war companion burial. Proper burial by fire. Could you deliver the ashes to Rune? Ashes to Rune, I'd be on Thank you. Well, he's either in a, a breakfast in the pub or down in the graveyard. And uh, here he is. So. In the tavern. There he is in the corner. Strangers like you bring war. Coost is responsible for the cemetery here. Have a delivery? Ah, like Thank you for bringing this to me. See? I'll Easy 250. Sure Gold. 
Now, next step is to take the horse and head off for the Dark's Brotherhood Sanctuary. Switch on the quest chain. Straight ahead. Stand this little hollow on the ground here. There it is. Should give me a pass Silence. Here we are, back by the sanctuary. And these guys are friends now, so pets will join. And here's some freebie magic item. So, Steve Armour, and here is my pescara. Uh, at last. Well, what this, as you can see, is our sanctuary. I'm arranging a job soon. Ah, uh, but one last thing. No, this is the portal. A welcome home and present. Uh, we just got the armor, Dark Brotherhood armor. So shrouded armor. But the shrouded hood is my sneaky one, that's very good. The shrouded cowl is for archery. You need two versions, the maskless and the mast. Shrouded armor, where's the shrouded armor? Yeah, sort them by name. Where's the shrouded robes? No, that's that's the ones I picked up. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, maybe it's me. Okay, it's only been added now. In all your More haste, habits. less speed. Okay. Shrouded cowl. Shrouded boots. Shrouded armor. And the shadow gloves as well. Not the hand drops. <sighs> so, so Name, shrouded. Where's the shrouded gloves? And this is 88 armor. Compared this to what I was wearing beforehand. Yes, and my armor rating is now 88 because you get a big bonus when you wear shrouded armor. Look. The suit gets a bonus, so it's 88. What was I on before? Boots, bracers, silver and pale armor, and blood on now. See, I used to be 55, and now I'm 88, so I've increased my armor protection by 50%. Now, of course, this armor won't last, it wouldn't last two seconds with this here, but the point is, is that. It means that a casual hit by some monster isn't going to wipe one, one shot you. And it looks shit hot. It just looks super cool. Especially on cute little Maeve. Now. Pick up our shout. This is Mark for this shout. We might get a chance to use it later on. And can progress the quest line by getting my jobs from Nazir. The newest member yeah. of our dwindling dysfunct say that if you're still breathing in a few and more dribble so it's three quests he sends us you can turn each one in as it's completed or wait and turn well then your target when you've completed all those we'll see if i might have some more okay so I'm not, I'm not going to fulfill them for this uh, walkthrough. I don't need those quests for this walkthrough. Now, there is one possibility that you could do. If you kill, if you do one of those quests and then come back to um, the boss woman, it'll progress to... If you've one of them killed, you can come back. You can come back and you can do another one or two small quests. And then you can um, do a few quick assassin quests. 
and you get to a quest very early on where you're assassinating the wife, the, the sister or niece or something of the emperor. And it's an easy assassination, very easy. But the advantage of that is when you do that assassination, you get a free summons. You get a free summons of an ancient assassin. And not only is it free, cosmos magic, but it also is permanent. That, that summon creature stays with you until it's killed. Now, it might be killed in two minutes, but it's not like a 60 second summons. And it, you can summon it once a day. So sometimes that's super, that's worth waiting. It's worth getting that early on because you get a free summons. But that's since I'm not going to bother, since I'm going to have a staff of storm and flame conjuration, that's good enough. So now I've got better armor, I've got my fiery sword. The only thing I need now is uh, I want to get staffs. Because if we're going to go into a dungeon and I don't want to fight, we need to be able to summon action axe. So in order to do that, we need to create staffs for storm and fire atronat. We can do that at the atronat forge in the base in the middens, the basement of the uh, witches of the wizards college. So I need the ingredients for that. So I need I need fire salts for this fire fire staff, and I need void salts for the um, see void salts for the storm atronat. And I also need one each of Corundum and what's the other one? Orichelsum and Corundum. So I've got Orichelsum. Do I have any Corundum? <coughs> no, I think I used up the Corundum to make my bag. But I know where I can get Corundum. Or I can just buy that on stuff. And I need <coughs> two brooms which I can pick up anywhere. And I need two greater silk school gems. Filled. So there's one and there's a grand one. The grand one will do safe. So, can, so all I need is a corundum ingot. Excuse me. <coughs> what I got? Corundum ingot. So will I bother mining it or will I just buy it? Um, I'll just buy it. Something. It's only one. Like, all the way to check. It's finding the pickaxe is harder than finding the, the gear. And you know we'll be literally ready to take on. Well, there's one other thing I would like to get, and it's a clever, it's a clever get. So I'm going to show it to you, and it might help us in the dungeon. Um, crumbed in it. I don't claim to be the. We to, to protect it. yourself. I want to crumb them or in deal it. some damage. Well, I'd rather come to crumb them more. Be cheaper. Um, don't forget to check inside the shop. What's the one that I do have? I have Warrior Chelsea, so it's Crundum Aura. If I, if I don't have Aura, I'll, I'll set for Ingot. Aura or Ingot will cut someone. Well, we've got Aura small weapons. Take a look. For sale. No, it's just Crundum Ingot. Oh, Crundum Ingot. Okay, I'll buy one. Oh, Crundum Ingot. 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 Oh, God, did it work? No. Good doing business with you. You look like maybe you need a hmm. blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Oh, you have to one. Uh, what's my speech like? I can't do speech like left. That. Most of our weapons looking to protect yourself. What can I sell them? Probably don't have much to sell. Not selling that good stuff. Skilled armor. I'm never going to wear the skilled armor. So I'll send him that. Studded Imperial. Oh, I still have all my old Imperial armor. You know, the old Imperial stuff. Two and a half thousand gold. I'm halfway to my house. I have plenty of other things to sell. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's good. So now we're ready to head off to uh, Winterhold again. That needs Winterhold requires a carriage.
And when to Winterhold we go. Winterhold we go. Need a ride? I can take you to any other. Where do you want to go? Winterhold. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Why is it always raining? Oh yeah, here's two, there's two staves, staves, staves we can steal in here, so I'm going to show you them. They're not really essential, sometimes I never use them, but just for the fun of it, let's look at them. The frozen hearth. Oh yeah, what's, what's this now? Uh, let's put on a shrouded hood, because shrouded hood allows us to sneak better. What did you do? Okay, while that, that wizard is busy, I want to get his. The staff of Arcane Authority. And in the Jarl's house. The Jarl's longhouse. There's another staff. And stuff repulsion. Oh, no, not there. Now, nobody saw us do it, so, so watch. And this, these are really powerful staff. At level one, these staffs are dead, deadly. Staff of Arcane Authority. So, with Staff of Arcane Authority, I can, I can scare, I can, it's a fear staff for anybody up to level 10. When am I going to see anybody level 10? <coughs> My opponent's now can't be more than level 4 or 5, so it's super powerful. Likewise, all affected on dead up to level 8, please. So that's everybody. Even tough dungeon bosses at this point wouldn't be much higher than that, right? Now, those staffs are stolen, of course, so that means what that the owners will eventually send um, hirelings after us to kill us. But by that time, the game we'll, we'll have finished this game, and anyway, we can kill them easily. So that's important. So we've got that done. Okay. So let's go into the winter. The school. Now the the college is good because the college gives you shed loads of free stuff. You should always do the college entry, entry quest, beginner quest. It's, it's just a, a rumor. Can I go Cross the more? bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. I am here, and if it yeah, yeah, the more yeah, important yeah. question is, perhaps. But what is it you? Yes, it would seem that not just. A Doesn't matter which test. answer you give, you get in. I'll take your Excellent. test. Those invested in restoration magic find healing okay. hands to be essential. I don't. She gives you free spells. Sometimes she gives you a useful spell like summon Atronach. That would be great. No. But this, or you can try your if you wanted to rerun this to get the randomly get the right spell, you need to spells. you need to be saved back at the uh, middle of town and run into this cell. Okay? I'm not going to bother. This Here is the spell. Are. Now I'm anxious to see. Now healing hands heals another person, so I'm never going to use that. I don't have any followers. So, oh magic! I have to equip the spell. Restoration spell. Oh. Okay, so you just. I'm too fast. <laughs> Magic. Eating hands. Well done indeed. That's it? Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. I don't need to follow her at all. I know exactly what to do. Briefly talk to Mirabel. Mirabel will give me free mage's hood and mage's robes, which are magic items. So that's my first freebie, and then I immediately go off and loot everything in the college. Sure, there's loads of stuff. We'll see in a minute. And then we get a free spell from our first lesson with the boring twat twit when we see your magicians. There's Mirabel. I believe I've made 
Welcome to the college. Another new. Well, I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get okay, you to the class. Now this robes, now it's not. Alright, it's been here. So now I've got three magic robes and three magic hood. There's the first broom I want. Um, and there's my room in here. And this is this is my room so I can take everything in it. Okay, so there's some mess. More importantly, there's lo loads of free of oh, not loads, one magic crystal. Oh, I'm sorry now, I go to the next room over. The other side. This is where the more trained was his lived that, that one was for the beginners we're in here and I have a room on the left it was amongst me there's another room I need you that and look at this and alchemy ingredients okay cool and we're out Oh no, upstairs. Yes, there's some lovely stuff upstairs. Upstairs is a working area with alchemy lab and enchanting lab. So it's got lots of nice lolly. Here we go. Here's the alchemy lab. See? Everything in here is stealable. It's takeable. Well, um, it's not stealing for me because I'm a member of the college now. Same again. More ingredients. So enough alchemy ingredients to keep me going forever. More in here. More in there. And next it's the chanting room. Oh, I passed it. It was first. There we go, look at this. All for free. Now, that's some loot. Nice bit of looting there. Now we're going to go into the main hall. And in the main hall we get a, a quest. Why is she coming up again? I've speak for finished speaking time. Welcome to the college. Yes, just a brief overview of our facility. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't move. Now in here, um, very boring lesson. So I'm going to sprint and knock him over and speed Welcome. it up. Welcome. We were just so glad to say. The first thing to understand is that magic is by its very nature. See when you bump him up, bump him, you speed him up. Of course, my dear. Excuse me. Let's get started. Let's get started. Please, please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Now he's going to ask me. Even it must be taken caution, or else disaster is inevitable. We've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us could be. Let me see chance to show you what we can do. You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Learn something practical. Is that so? See, she agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? In continuing with our theme of safety, we could start our war wars. Okay, wars. War protective spell. So we get a free ward spell. <laughs> I'll teach you to all our wars. And we'll see if you can successfully use those block spells. Alright? Would you mind helping me with them? Turn on your ward spells. Now, if you just... Would you mind helping me with the demonstrations? Are you able to do it? What's well, sir? That's what this list is. Now, now, if you do, over there, let me. Uh, this just reminds me there's a book, sp a spell book I never read, Reanimate Corpse. Okay. So I'm going to stand here. Now, cast a ward spell. I need to cast a ward spell, magic, restoration, less award. Okay, go. Bingo. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with war 
I think I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout our system. The College of Divinity Cake at last has a the base station in the ruins of Sarnoff nearby. It's an excellent learner on impunity. I suggest that we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us in the sun. That's all for now. So there's the wizard's quest line started. You end up doing a dungeon crawl anyway, same as if you were not a wizard, you know. It's very poorly, not very exciting. Anyway, this, it's a great start for me because I've got everything I want. And we're here for our important thing is we want to go down to the midden, the underground dungeon, and we want to get ourselves a, man a couple of magic staffs. In fact, I can make as many as I wanted if I got all the beans. Now, here we are in the midden. Now see this here, there's a, a, there's a basket of malachite ore up there, and then there's, there's jewels in the um, eyes of that skeleton, so we want to use our bow to get stuff, and I'm going to save and gonna carefully save here, because sometimes everything's just disappear all over the place. So, be careful, so I've saved, not the bat. Okay. I think that worked just neatly this time. Taking them so this is why people just take the basket and drop it. It's so fiddly. Moonstone, I find moonstone's quite valuable, 75 each. Now this is the tricky one. I wanna find both jewels that go flying all over the place. I think they landed well right there for me. Take Ruby. Take Pikmin. I see it. Was there, and that's really nice. Two rubies worth four, two hundred each. Now I sell them probably. I can only sell them for half that, but they're worth they're very valuable. So that's good. Now we have to go down. We have to sneak past a very nasty. Um, Monster, and I didn't think to bring any spell with me. Now, the only thing is, I have my old handy familiar spell. The familiar won't last against the ice, ice monster, but the familiar spell, I should have got a flame atronach spell for this. Because the flame atronach can defeat this creature, but I conjure familiar. Um, I conjure familiar won't, but he might, he should be able to. There's no chance of me to beat it by the way. But the Collinger Familiar might be strong enough to at least at least keep him busy while I run past him. That's all I want. So here we have this is where we save. We might have to retry this. See? It's gotta be engaged. When I run away. There's the book of menus. And there used to be a, oh yeah, a stone. There's no rich else. Now I'm pretty sure that they doesn't come down here, but I'm gonna wait here for a second. Just to be sure. Okay, let's do our little Okay, first of all Room uh, Greater Soul Gem filled and I can't remember which stone which or iron metal so we need the fire. I want the um really it's all I need is the fire. Um, I, don't know. I don't need a storm imagine it, but I'll just get the two of them at once, it's just too much hassle. It's fire, and then I think, then I have to remember, 
it's Crondom or or a Chelsea. I think it's Crondom for the fire. So we just check. Room Crondom Beautiful Gym. What's the fourth thing? Uh, I thought I put a, a fire salt in there. Oh yeah, see so you have to see here, you have to see everything. So I don't need two fire salts in there. So there's the four things, so let's just see if it's if it's not chromedom, it's our shells. There we go. Now that fire at will now easily defeat that big trouble wolf. Now the same again, except this time we're going to Create a storm at knack. Broom. Don't have any great or so grand soul gems. Just one is enough. Has to be filled. Uh, or a Chelsea get this time. And void salts. Okay, just check. Offering box and all contents. Yep, the four things. And off we go. Press. Now we have got what we want. Did I keep my shield? Don't know if a shield is any imperial shield. I probably didn't bother keeping it. But so I'll, see, I could even you know I'd have, I forgot and I could use this creature and people to level ten flee. I could chase them off with my staff of arcane authority. I've never tried that before. I could have just used that. I keep getting that staff and not using. So let's try it. I'm gonna save in case. Instead of um, fighting with a flat flame atronach, I can just put a fear spell on him. Just don't miss. Because he would kill you in one go. What? That's interesting now, so here we are, I've just found a new tactic that I've never, never used before. And it's nice to use those staffs that I actually stole, you know, because sometimes I never use them the whole bench, the whole game through. But perfect, so I always was equipped for that. Now, you know, when I'm going into dungeon, the other staff, um, the other staff, Grand Repulsion, I could chase off one dead. But the problem with chasing off one dead is they sometimes run in front of you. And when you chase them, then you end up actually them staying with you. But I might try my graph staff, grand staff of revulsion. I'm going to try out these staffs now. So I've got everything I want. I've got my, so now we're getting ready for the main quest, which is Bleak Falls Barrel, and that the Golden Claw will be done with it, of course. The, the Bleak Fall Barrel is really important, and for that I've got. Um, I've got a fire sword, which is deadly against Draugr, but more importantly I've got a flame atronach and a staff of repulsion, so I can frighten off the undead, I can burn them to death, or I can chop them pieces with the fire sword. <laughs> and also, I've got a sneaky hood, hood which improves my sneak, and shrouded boots, which which muffles my, because it actually is 50% muffle, 50% silence. And, just to cap it all, I'm going to do something else, because I want to sneak a bit. I am going to get a special ring here, which allows me to sneak and helps my illusion spells. Now, you don't have to do this, uh, because... Oh yeah, and this is something else I got this time, which I didn't have in previous games. I've got a necklace of sneaking, isn't it? See? So my sneaking is going to be shit hot, but I'm going to make it even better with the magic ring. In the past I would have gone to Solitude and bought a ring of sneaking, but we don't need to do that anymore because we've got this new add-on called the Ring of Master. Now it's a, it's a creative club creations, but I think it's in every AA game, so I'll show you it. So it's so first of all we need to travel to Windtown. And this will give us my last piece of kit to make the dungeon very easy. Very, very easy. In Candle Hearth Hall, we look for rumors of of 
Need rumors of work and things to do. Lord Nilsen has been wrecked since her sister was killed. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine, shrine of Azura? Azura? They say the Dark Elves built okay. it after they fled. Okay. They say Farleyan of Morthal has studied study vampires, vampires. Draugr, and all matter of undead. Okay, so there's a, that's a useful quest later on. That's a quest for curing vampirism. So you can always get rid of your vampirism anytime you want. Any bounty work? Maybe it's bounty work. I should be of course. To. It's all in this note. Bounty for close teeth. That's not the one I want. That's actually... Let's save that appetite. Hmm? Wrong one. More rumors. Of course. It's all in this note. You know about Talos? He found Blood in the water. No. What is that? Blood in the water. I don't remember that one. I was just curious. I don't want that quest. Mind you, don't get fresh with Suzanne. Do you have anything of from course. Me? Merchant, missing it's merchant. All in this note. Missing merchant. Okay. No. Not in the water. Might be interesting, but no. In the note, missing merchant. To all able bodied, a merchant called Gunther Fosford has gone missing. He was last seen in the area near Trader's Post. Okay. So Gunther Fosford. Now this is a very, you can read this quest in New ESP, it's called Missing Merchant. And basically what it means is, see up the road here, so I'll go to window. Missing Merchant, make it active. So I need to write, I need to write out the Trader's Post. Now this is a tricky little quest, but it's do, totally doable. And what it involves is, there's a bandit camp who've captured the missing merchant. He's dead, by the way. And what you're supposed to do in the quest is you're supposed to defeat the bandits. And from their leader, you can take you take a ring off the dead body of the merchant. But from the leader, you get a note saying that she has been in contact with a Khajiit uh, caravan, from, which is at Solitude. And if you take the ring, you can swap it for um, Daedric Light Armor. So it's a way of getting Daedric Mail, Daedric Light Armor at level 1. I have no interest in Daedric Mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the ring off the body and I'm going to skedaddle. So I don't need to kill anybody or fight anybody. I just need to distract the people here with my horse and the Achena. Let them fight away. I get into the sh via hole in the roof and I steal the ring off the body. Now I have to do that without getting killed, which is not easy. But it's a quest which involves no skill uses. It's just sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And you get this ring which is absolutely fabulous. I don't know why anyone would be daft enough to swap it for male armor. Which is probably marginally better than what you already have. So it's a brilliant quest. I love doing these quests where you just start a quest, get something done that's really useful and you just ignore their, their useless. Oh god. <laughs> you just ignore what they're telling you to do, you know. There's a lot of quests like that where the initial object you find is better than anything they give you at the end. You just hold on to it. But there is a trick here because there's four or five bandits. You've got to distract them with something else, and then you've got to, while they're distracted, then you've got to sneak in. And there's so many of them, some of them will shoot at you. Let's pick up these farms and all. And so, yeah, and of course, you can do the main, you can do the bleak straw, bleak falls barrel without this quest, because this quest only came with the creation scroll, and I didn't used to have it, and I still did the quest find. So now, what am I going to arm myself with? I'm going to get one's flame attack to distract them. I'm going to use the staff of. Arcane authority to actually chase anybody away. Okay, that's for them dead. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use my horse as well. But if you get the horse into combat, he's great. He's a great tank. He'll keep people busy, like the fight of rage. 
Ja. Oh, hey horse. See, it's better if you get the unicorn because he fights aggressively. This guy doesn't fight unless he's me time. Hopefully he fight a bit. Jump, jump. It's just, it's just tricky getting up here. On the roof. Come on, come here. get up the roof. Ugh, I think the mess with us. If you get up the roof quickly, it's easy. Oh, come on. Usually I'm good at this. Come on, come on get up, get up, get up on the roof. Get up, jump, jump. Get up, get up, get up. Now I've got my staff as well in case I need it. Now, search Gunther, all I want is a ring of master. Get some health potions into me. Get out of here. Well, oh, smash and grab a water. Huh? And that's the way you do it. Nervously battling away. See, there's so many of them that come over able to shoot at me while they were fighting with my distractors. See? Still shooting at me. <laughs> you see, you see. Now, now we're ready to go. Uh, I've got everything I want. So now we're going to go to Bleak's Falls Barrow and watch how we get there. Everybody else seems to like going to Bleak Falls Barrow up this long and winding road fighting all the bandits. I'm going up from Lisa's cabin on horseback and I'll be up there two seconds without any fighting. smart enough to do it at night when my vampire strength is full. Now let's just make sure, let's have a look at this thing. We've just got mass, Ring of Master, see this? It's a mad, fantastic ring. Illusion spells cost 30% less, your stamina increases, and sneaking is 20% better. And remember, always put on your Bloodborne Helm before putting on the ring, and also before putting on the um, uh, Shrouded Hood. Because now their effects are much better. I'm not getting 25% sneaking, I'm getting more like 30% sneak off. So let's just take a look at my magic abilities. So look at the sneak I've got. See from the ring I'm getting actually 30 I'm getting 25 25% not 20. And from the hood I'm getting 25% not 20. So I'm 50% better at sneaking than I normally am. And I've also got boots with 50% muffle. What is my normal sneak? Probably not that great. If I was a Khajiit now, I'd be invisible nearly. Oh, sneak. Actually, yeah, I just thought of something. I can get my sneak up. Yep, yeah, there's another one. So watch this. This is not, I can get my sneak up past 15. Really past 15. There's a uh, sanding stone here. Serpent stone. And it used to give you invisibility, but now it gives you plus 20 with the stand passive standing songs mod. It gives you a sneak passive sneak bonus. Passive sneak bonus is much better. I already have invisibility from my vampire, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to go there and get that. This is really really good. Watch this. Now the tricky part is I have to ride all the way around the fortress. That's easy, but I have to. Go to Snow Shard Farm, I have to ride up to the Serpent Stone and there's a nasty necromancer with a bone bone pit. So I forgot oh, that looks like a vampire. <laughs> and, <laughs> typical scarab. So 
So we're just gonna get this and you know what when we get this it's nearly an hour and we'll, we'll quit. Yeah. This is the back of Rifton City Fortress. Again, this is a smash and grab raid, just like the last one, but a little bit easier. We have to be careful because this necromancer fires flame spells, and I'm a vampire. So, bang, she can kill me in two, one go. So, what I'm going to do is wait till night time because then I'm stronger. Snowshot farm. Yeah, I want a snowshot farm. Yeah, definitely. And you can see above me there, there's a ritual stone. Night time. And get our sneak suit boost. Um, the other alternative was to get the lower stone. Yeah. And the lower stone would give me increased armor and increased magic resistance. That's, that's as good, really. But anyway, we go for this one now we're here. Now save quickly, because this can be tricky. Of course, I can just, as well, just check my conjuration. See, I don't want to use my spells too much, but I can use them a little bit, you know. So there's no point in zero use of conjuration spells. See? See, speech is now at the top. I can't, I can't increase that anymore. Conjuration. So, here you see my ability to conjure a useless, a weak, a puny familiar is still useful because all I want to do is distract them. It's just distraction. And now this is where the Imperial Armor of fire, fire Resistance would have been useful. And let's go. in the shadows that are 20% better sneaking. Now this is really good because the necromancer is not here. She might, it's just random movement. I could have taken my horseman away. Normally that's a huge fat battle. Okay, so let's have a look, you see. Magic. Uh, fortify sneak. Oh, oh. I missed, I didn't activate it, did I? Let's have a look, let me see. Look at my skills. The sneak should be up by 20, from 15 to 35. Yeah, see, there it is, sneak is 35. And that's really important, because that's not a percentage increase. If I, you know, that's, I'm actually gone from 15 to 35, so that's like 130% increase in sneak. You know, I'm really quite good at sneak there. So 35 sneak. Before I get my bonuses for my gear, means I'm I'm nearly invisible. You know, I'm nearly practically at fifty percent sneak, fifty sneak. So it's really really good sneak. And you'll see how good it is in a minute. Bleak Falls Barrow, just make sure, just out of You don't need this, but Bleak Falls Barrow and the Golden Claw, let's put them on. Yeah, straight ahead. We just ride up the hill. I'm oh, brilliant. Oh, I hate it when they freeze. Go right, right, go right. Go right, yep. There's a few bandits here, we just race past them. They'll make a one armor shot at me. They never follow you inside, of course. No.
Now, if you're really ruthless about sneak, not increasing your skills, you wouldn't even bother sneaking here, because you can literally run past these guys and keep running until you're out of their view, and they will they will follow you. But if you do it quickly enough, you can get away. You can literally run past everything in this dungeon. You don't need to sneak anywhere. So that's that's another way. And the advantage of that is that it's completely it, it's guaranteed to work. But I'm going to use my sneak ability more. And I've got this other wonderful ability. Being a vampire, let's look at it. Powers, embrace of shadows. So when I go, when I go past these guys, I'm going to be literally invisible. But I don't put on invisibility till I picked up these goodies, because as soon as you do touch anything in invisibility, you switch it off. Now, there's no chance to spot me now. I'm invisible and really silent. They don't even look for me. See? Now that's it. For the rest of this dungeon, I don't need invisibility or sneak. I'm just going to run past it. Except for that pesky giant spider. Uh, the sp the sp skewer tail is good for damage. Uh, poison in a sword or a, bee, or, or a bow. Not that I ever fight, but I'm an veteran alchemy ingredient collector. Now if we get that poison it won't even kill us. But anyway, there's the missing one snake, so the the symbol the key is snake, snake, whale. Okay. Snake. Snake whale. Okay. Any loot? Gold. Now in this next room there's a bunch of I don't need um I don't need any more sneaking now. See this way, I don't want to chase, there's a bunch of skeevers, I don't want to chase them off with the staff, I want to, because they'll run around and just get in the way. So I really need to kill them. So the staff, the flame atronach is useful here. So what I know, what I always do is, if I have a staff like paralysis or fear, and I have to hit somebody, I put it in my right hand, because I'm right handed. And if it's something like an atronach, it doesn't matter where it lands. I just put it in my left hand because the exact location of the landing doesn't really matter. You can't really sneak past these guys because it's narrow. It's a narrow stairwell. It's the thing. That's why we got there. But don't worry, um, the astronaut will soon take care of them. The trick is to get them. Coming after me, a little shit. No, the fan flame attracts small small. See, no fighting. There might be one left down here. So you see my invisibility as well. Now Arvel the Swift is actually um, Arvel the Swift is actually um, trapped by a giant spider. So I, uh, what I need to do is I used to kill the spider, but now you can just run past the spider, free him, and run through the dungeon. So I don't really let me see. Where's my um, is uh, how's my conjuration spell going? No, my um, my silly little familiar. I don't know if the familiar is strong enough to uh, conservation. Where's conservation at? 
yeah, that's where Miller takes no effort. So, so I need, I need a conjuration for Miller in my left hand and a sword, in my right. Actually, I not yes, yeah, sword. And then conjuration in my left. I don't need a really good. See, you have to physically cut. Oh. Now you need to. So now it's. Oh, I didn't expect to kill him so easily. Get him, get his stuff off him first. We need a golden claw. Nice journey. Oh, this the golden claw. Now that was because, you see, I'm using... This is the reason I killed him. My shitty skills as the Dragon's Oath. The fire damage bonus. I didn't expect to kill him at all. Because I'm from the other shit. Sword fighting. Where's my sword fighting? I've gone up to One-handed. See? Because the amount of damage I did, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have used the sword. I don't want my sword fighting to go up to there. So now, here we go again. Now I'm going to sneak past a load of, of um, undead. So do I want to wait and get my magic? I can wait 24 hours, you see. Oh, you know, I didn't do. This is a bit of oh, some minor mistake. I didn't use any shrine. If I uh, could, you give myself an extra ten health, or an extra ten magic, or 15, 25 actually, from one of the shrines. But if I did that, it only lasts eight hours. And if you did it, wait for a day, you'd lose it. So you'd have this trade off. But now I don't. But anyway, we're an hour in, so I'm going to leave it here because we, the next bit of the dungeon is it doesn't take long. Let's stop our, 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 our dungeon questing here.